Muslim Media was an event that was a collaboration between Iowa State's chapter of the Society of Professional Journalists and um, the Ames Islamic Center, our local mosque here. It was a collaborative effort to create a discussion between local journalists and uh, local Muslims and how uh, to kind of learn about each other a little more and kind of build a bridge that will uh, become stronger as time progresses. And we'd seen uh, on the SBJ website, a few other chapters around the nation had kind of done the same thing. Uh, so, you know, we kind of drew inspiration from that. But also, you know, current events, I mean, we've had uh, Muslim students here at Iowa State who don't feel comfortable walking around because they feel like they're misunderstood. And the Muslim community, along with a lot of underrepresented communities here on campus, don't feel like they have a voice. So it's kind of our job as journalists to be that voice and kind of uh, just, you know, get rid of some of those misconceptions and kind of educate the public. So we figure what better way to do that, better equip ourselves to do that than to host an event like this. So the event was open to faculty from Iowa State's journalism program as well as students from Iowa State's journalism program. Um, so we didn't keep it exclusive to just SBJ members. You know, and it was students and faculty of varying experience, like we had the director of our journalism school go, and we also had, you know, professors go, and then we had uh, students who were sophomores, juniors, and myself who's a senior. We had a good mix of people. Uh, we had two presentations, one presentation on the religion of Islam itself, and we also gave a presentation on journalism, and then we had an interactive Q&A where, um, you know, Muslims at the event were able to ask journalists about what we do, and journalists were able to ask Muslims about um, their religion and how they go about their day and what it's really about. The mosque had questions about journalists and what exactly journalism is. They didn't know what journalists do outside of what they see, you know, maybe from Fox or MSNBC. Our goal was to give the Muslim community an idea or a, a basic look at what the life of a journalist is, what journalism is, and how we go about the news gathering process. Uh, the local Muslim got to see what a journalist's life is like and the journalists got to see, you know, the worship practices of, of someone of the Islamic faith uh, firsthand. So we got to observe a prayer and we got to see a presentation of what being a Muslim was all about. The original Muslim media was organized with a meal involved, so we decided, just like the other organizations that hosted uh, Muslim media, to have a halal meal. And there's a lot of things that bring people together, but I don't think there's any other encouraging factor than good food. Uh, and there's nothing that gets people talking, I think, and, and energetic about certain things than good food. Our event was definitely successful. You know, everybody showed up and, you know, the event was scheduled from 12 to 2, but we had the conversation go to like 3.30. We definitely, we built, we built that connection we were hoping to build. We built that bridge. Um, so we want to strengthen it and we don't want to limit it only to the Muslim community, right? We want to take this event, use it as models to host other events for other underrepresented communities so that you know, we can you know, better serve them as journalists. If we aren't you know, communicating with underrepresented communities and learning about them and uh, connecting with them, then we aren't doing our job as journalists. So uh, we want to use this event kind of as a catalyst and foster conversations with other underrepresented communities.